What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to see if we can figure out what's going on with the sunroof here. So I've had this truck for about, I don't know, maybe about five years now and never had any trouble with the panoramic sunroof it has, but I hear that it's a big problem with Ford and now it started leaking. So let's figure out what's going on with it. Let's jump in. All right, so the leak actually happens right here. Looks like the water's coming in. Let me open this all up. Now the water looks like it's dripping somehow in and right through here and it's dripping down straight to the floor. I haven't seen any water or any puddle on the, on the actual carpet on the bottom. But I know that's a common issue. Also, sometimes the water would just stream straight down all the way down to the bottom. I haven't seen it. Well, we're going to open it up and check it out. Let's take the truck out of the garage first, though. Every once in a while, and actually, it hasn't happened through a car wash. Through a car wash, it doesn't happen for some reason. But so these sunroofs have a pretty good seal all the way around it, but you do have to keep it kind of you know, maintained. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can say moisturized, but lubricated to keep it soft. But some water still comes in, and there's an actual drain plug. The drain plug coming kind of comes through here, like right out the corner of the sunroof here. And it goes all the way out down the A pillar, all the way down to the back. Alright, we're gonna open the sunroof. What the? I haven't opened it in a while. There it goes. Hmm. All right. Focus. Okay, there's one drain right here. A little dirty, but not too bad. Okay, you can see the drain hole right there. This one looks good. Okay, so if water gets in, it's gonna go in right on the very scene. So there's like a channel here that kind of catches all the water and it should push the water all the way down to the very edge there. Same thing on this side, same channel, pushes the water all the way down. Usually it's not that much water, but see there is space here for it. So I'm thinking somehow the water's coming over here, filling up or finding cracks and getting down through here. I wish I could feel this. It doesn't feel wet. But let's throw some water in there and see what happens. So I got some water here. Just so I'll put a little water in here. Coming out somehow, it's coming out right. Let's see where it comes out. Straight down. I mean, and it's like not clogged at all. I mean, it's coming straight down. Let me do it again.
Yeah, so that's what it's supposed to do. Go straight down. So it looks like the sunroof is fine. But I did recently get my window repaired. I got a new wind deal, so now I'm thinking it might have been through it might be through here. Okay, so water coming in the sunroof looks like it's fine. I mean, there's a little gargles that come up, but I really don't think that's an issue. There's very little water that gets in, and it's never been a problem. But here's the thing. It just clicked. I recently got this windshield repaired. Actually, I did it twice. I did it once, and like a month later, it cracked again, so then I got another one. But it's been working fine now for a few months. But noticed that the very corner here... It's like it has a little lift here. I bet if I put water in here, it's going to go inside the truck. All right, guys. So maybe you shouldn't try this at home because it could get the truck wet. But I'm going to put a little bit in here just to see what's going on. See where the water goes. I'm actually going to pour a lot in there. Let it pour. And I hear it dripping, so it's dripping down the bottom. It's really dripping straight to the bottom. Same spot. So the channel actually is straight down, connects with the other one. No water in here at all. No water at all. Let's open this up, see what happens. All right, so these have two tabs. They should just come off. Shit, well, there goes one. It's 10 millimeter there. Another one on the bottom. I oh, see it's supposed to have this. All right, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. And I think we have to remove this also. It's smaller. Looks like a seven. So seven millimeter, ten millimeter, ten millimeter. Let's take them off. Okay, so the seven millimeter works, but the nine thirty twos kind of fits a little better. So we're gonna do nine thirty twos instead. And down. And there's a wire here. Let's unplug this side. Okay, hopefully that's enough. We don't need to take it all the way off. Right, you can see how this thing just kind of hooks in and then the bolt holds the back of it. See, this thing comes right off. How do you come off? Oh, there it goes. I'm not gonna unplug the tweeter. You can unplug the tweeter if you want to take it all off, but I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so there's the channel. This is the rubber channel. It's just rubber and it goes from the top, clipped on all the way down to the bottom. So there must be a difference between a 2015 and like the newer 2017s, or maybe it's just like a, some models have a little different clips, but this one here, it connects it to the bottom. So it must just automatically drop it to wherever this rail ends to this channel here. So I'm assuming this channel here from the window. Damn it, let's pull this shit down. I don't want to take you off. You're staying on. All right, it's gonna push this down some here. All right, so that's the channel right there. Right there, that right there, that's the rubber hose. Do you know about these hose? Huh? It just comes straight down, see that? And it just clips right in. There's nothing holding it in. There's, there's no like clamp or zip tie or nothing. It just kind of sits in there. But there is clamps kind of holding the these right here. 
these are going all the way down clamp 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 all the way down so in some models you'll see it coming out of the side right here and obviously in this model it actually connects with whatever the rail is that comes down from wherever the rail is that comes down from up there it connects to it probably behind the fender liner So everything looks good to me. In some of the trucks that had this sunroof, in a lot of the trucks, if you get this, if you get a panoramic sunroof and it starts leaking right away, so maybe the first time you open it and close it, more than likely, they didn't install the channel for you. They didn't. They didn't install this water hose. It's actually a common issue. It's not there. So a lot of trucks you buy a brand new truck, you drive it home, you open the sunroof, close it, water gets inside. You take it back to the dealer and like, oh yeah, we forgot to install this. So it's like, it's a cheap part. It's like probably less than 20 bucks. But, and it's not that hard to install, really. The hardest part is getting to the bottom of this. You might have to take some of this apart to get to the bottom because it does go all the way down. But even that's not that part. All these kind of just pop right off, pops right off, pops right off. There's no bolts. Just like you kind of saw this one happen. I was gonna put all this back together. Okay, so this thing goes in pretty easy. See those little two teeth marks that are there that stick out? The grooves, it goes right into the groove right in there. Like that. And then the same thing over here. You got these little things that stick out right here. This right here. They go right into the little hole that's right there. And these also just help clip in. And then it just kind of goes pop. There might be one on the bottom also. Actually, no. Just that one and the top, bottom two, and that's it. Then you put the bolts back on. Let's feed the wire back in there first. Okay, so look, here's a clip right here. You can just unplug it. Unplug it right here. If it's in the way, just unplug it. So if you're going to do the whole channel, yeah. Go ahead and unplug it. Get it out of the way. Unplug the tweeter. Get it out of the way. And then open the whole thing to add the, the new channel in there. I'm going to link... I think this guy's name is Obsessed and he has uh, quite a few videos out there and he has a Raptor that he did the channel because it was missing the channel on it. So I'm going to link it in the, in the description of this video so you can see what it's like. Nice. Alright, that's back on. These are back on. Put these clips back in. See it has this little clip here that's supposed to hold it in but it came right off a little while ago there it goes right. back in we're back in we're back installed closing the sunroof we're gonna call it just a little debris issue that's why water came in it stopped it hasn't happened again so we're good with it all right, everything's back up. Let's close this thing. Let's make sure this thing closes all the way. All right, let's try that again. So we're gonna do it, close it, and we're gonna stop it just by pushing the same button again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right there. And now I'm gonna close it, this one, and I'm gonna try to vent it, okay? So close it, vent it. See how it kind of tries to, and it vents. And you push the close button again, now it stays closed. <laughs> so something's wrong with the initialization like initialization of it and it doesn't want to close all the way like something's bothering it but there's nothing there I've already checked it so i did a whole video on this also so check out my other video too all right so that's closed and close the back of this also all right guys thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos that i have too all right Thank you.